welcome to The Introverted Entrepreneur. This is Carrie. Today, I wanted to make a quick video to show you how you can create a drop shadow on text using a free software called Canva. Canva, if you haven't heard of it, is a really cool uh, website, software, whatever. It's, um, it's free to use. You can make pretty much any design you want for free um, for like, it's like DIY graphic design. Um, so today, I'm gonna put a photo on here so I can like if you want to make memes and stuff, drop shadows on your text are really helpful to make your text stand out if there's a lot of different colors in the background or a lot of noise in the photo. Um, it gives it a more professional look, kind of makes it look 3D, etc, etc. So here's some text. I'm going to choose a random font. Let's try this one. All right. Text, drop, shadow. That obviously did not work. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. So I've actually been using Canva for a really long time and I had no idea you could do a drop shadow until like a month or two ago and now I'm drop shadowing everything. So you have your text box here, whatever text you want it to be. To make your drop shadow, you just come up here and hit copy so that this text is the same spacing, same size as the text underneath. Change the color of the text that's gonna be on top and then use your keyboard to, um, you have to get the cursor out of the window. Okay, use your keyboard to move it around to put it on top of the text because if you just use your mouse like this, Canva has these lines that it tries to like um, make elements stick to, to line up and you won't, your drop shadow will look a lot more sloppy if you don't use the keyboard. So you can have a drop shadow be really subtle, like so subtle that you can barely tell it's there or you can make it be like a really dramatic shadowy type effect. And, um, that's literally that easy. That's all you have to do. You can make the bottom color, any color that you want. I like black because it's like a shadow, but sometimes I'll do like just a little bit darker than the color that I'm using because then it like, I don't know, I think it looks cool. So like that. Let's see. So you can barely tell it's there, but you can definitely tell that the text looks different than if it was just down here by itself. Okay, and um, that's all there is to it. So get out there and start drop shadowing, guys.